Hey, Marquita, how are you? Hey, Marie, how are you? We had a great two fun-filled days of Christmas in July events. Hey, Penny, how are you? Thank you so much, for Marie, for inviting me. Um, I can't believe all the talent that was here both days, yesterday and today. Thank you for sprinkling. Hey, Karen, how are you? I hope everybody had a great time watching all the designers. If not, you can go back and watch the replay. I have to watch the replays from yesterday. Um, hey, Kathleen, how are you? It was a crazy day for me yesterday, and I wasn't able to yet. So I'm going to go back and watch the ones from yesterday. But the designers from today were amazing. Amazing. Hey, Christine, how are you? Hey, Deborah. So again, thank you, Marie. Thank you for doing the two-day event. It was wonderful. You had great success. And uh, I really appreciate you inviting me. Uh, Jamie just finished up with Glam Candy Boutique. And then after me, um, Marie finishes us off at 8 o'clock. So um, again, thank you again. And I can't wait till the next one. Hey, Janine, how are you? Hey, how are you? Our unique touch. So, I, my migraine's finally gone, y'all. Finally gone. I had it for, I think, almost three days. Took me out. Took me out. Thank you for sprinkling, Janine. I hope you're feeling better. I know, hey, Holly. I know her weather's bad <clears throat> right now, and she's got a migraine. So, it goes from me to her, I guess. But, so, if y'all saw these, we're making gingerbread houses today. Hey, Nicole, how are you? Hey, Quincy. Yes, thank you. I, I definitely am. We are going to do gingerbread houses, um, the Dollar Tree gingerbread houses, okay? There's two different kinds. This one has the little um, awning on the top, okay? And this one has the one on the side. So I know a lot of people have been spray painting these and doing them um, individually, but I wanted to show you something different. Hey, Cindy, how are you? So you can take these apart, y'all. Um, so what you do, we're going to do a double decker. This was made out of two of these, okay? The two of the ones with the purple. Um, so I'm gonna show you how I did this and what I did. The spray paint I use for the gingerbread color is um, I like to use the Rust-Oleum two-time coverage with the paint and the primer. And I use the Santin Nutmeg. This is the gingerbread color I use. You've had those sitting in your stash forever. See, now you can use them, Nicole. See, but I wanted to do something different and I really like the bigger ones with the two houses together. And I'm gonna show you what I did and a little bit of tweaking you have to do to get them to go together. I know everybody's got these things hanging around, right? So you've either got the purple one, the purple roof or the pink roof and um, yeah. So we're gonna use them today. Thank you. Okay, so again, the gingerbread color that I used is satin nutmeg. And if you use them for yourself, it's not a big deal. But after I did this, Thank you. Hey, Raymond, how are you? After I did this, I noticed if you're going to do it to sell, hey, triple A, I would recommend, see the back of it? I spray painted the whole front, okay? But the back of it, I never did. And you could still see the pink and the purple and the greens and whatnot. So if you're going to sell them, hey, hey, Andy, how are you? So if you're going to sell them, make sure you spray paint the back too. Note to self, right? But um, so what I did is I took... First thing I did, let me put you down. I took this and the, the, the roof just pops right off, okay? And then you've got a little tape on the back of the door here. Have y'all ever taken these apart? Yeah, two story. Hey, Cece, I hope you're feeling better. So what you do is you, these, if you push from behind with your thumb, these windows pop right out and I want it, the ones in these windows, I want to stay white. I did all my windows white and don't forget the ones on the side. So they do pop out. And then the door, you've got your green door, push the door and then that comes off and then the door comes right off as well. And then my doors, I did the gingerbread color when I put it back in. Okay, so you've got this all taken apart and you're gonna do two of them, the same ones, obviously the same ones. Now with the, um, the green top, the green roof, I painted it white. So all I did is I took my fingers in the back and I popped these green things out. So that, 
and they pop right out. You just put your thumb in the back of it and push. So then when I painted the roof, um, the purple roof white, again, I used the two-time um, Rust-Oleum with the primer, and I just used a gloss white is all. So then I spray painted them, left them all out um, to dry, and then, let me get this, where's my second one? Here's my second one. So you just kind of take the roof off. Now, when you go to put these together to sit on each other, you're going to see <laughs> the roof. Yeah, the roof goes back on, Kim. You're going to see see this little lip where the roof was. If you go to put these on, it's not going to sit flush. So what you need to do is what I did. You never took them apart. Hey, Teresa, how are you? Hey, Erica. If I miss anybody, I'm sorry. So what I did is you have to take these little ledges off from where the roof is if you're going to double stack them like this because you want them to butt up nice like that. See that? Hey, Tisha, how are you? So all as I did is I took my little nippers here and you just take this little ledge off and you just go, go through. Here, I'll show you. Kind of go through and just nip it off. And it goes flying everywhere, so just make sure you got glasses <laughs> I was doing it before I hit my husband on the recliner, you know. So you're going to take these off on both sides. I'm telling you, they, they fly everywhere. <laughs> my dogs are wondering, what the heck is going on? So you've got it like this. <laughs> hey, Margarita, how are you? Thank you for sprinkling and yes, prayers for everyone. So then you've got, it's, it's raised up a little bit. You can see it's not real flush. So what is, I did is I took my hand sander, that little yellow, yeah, danger, danger. I took my little hand sander, right? It, it has a mind of its own. It's, you gotta do what it's gotta do, right? Hey, Linda, how are you? And then I just took the little um, hand palm sander that you get, the micro sander, and I just sanded these little edges off. So it was, so you could get it, and you can see how it's better already. And then it just kind of, sits up there and then your gap is gone once you once you sand those little things down the other thing I did you got more snipping to do y'all the other thing I did is I wanted the edges straight okay when when they have these I don't know if there's other accessories that you can put them together put houses together so they've got these little notches on the end here on both ends <laughs> that's wonderful if my husband would have done that I would have loved it but he wasn't around but that would be the best thing because then if you get the grinder, like you said, hey, Pam, how are you? Hey, Charlene, you get the grinder, this will be flat, and then you won't have to use that little hand sander. So then you do that, and then um, I take these little, out of all of them, I take these little ones off the edges. Danger, danger. These aren't too bad because they're smaller, and then they're more manageable. Hey, Linda, how are you? Hey, Ginger. So then you take that and you just get these edges off here. These little doohickeys to get, it's flying again. <laughs> no, they don't because of this ledge. If you, you could, actually you could, if you wanted to put this one on top of here like this, like this, it doesn't completely line up, but you could put this one up here if you wanted to and you've got that little bit of gap um, but that one's got the things on it. So if you wanted a different second story look, you most certainly could. You could see how that looks. But the only reason I didn't do that is because the two doors are offset and the window is offset a little bit. But if you don't mind the doors being in different places or the windows not lining up, you sure, you sure could. Well, welcome, Linda. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate you joining. Hey, Cheryl. So um, the only reason, like I said, I did the two of the same is because I wanted them to line up straight. Otherwise it would have drove me crazy all the time. But if it doesn't bother you and you like that look, you most certainly can. So then you're gonna snip these little edges off and then take all your stuff out, all your windows out. And you know what would be really cute if you wanted to do a Halloween, y'all? Hey, J Jamie, how are you? It was the first time I watched you. You did a great design today. Um, welcome. Thank you for joining me. This way, would they connect together for a house this way? They could. Yes, they could. And, um, you can put them side by side to do it this way. But if you, 
like for instance, if you go to, you'd have to glue them together like this. You could make a bigger house and glue them together as well, yes. If you go to snap them in though, you're gonna have a gap. You, you will have that gap that you can see, but if that doesn't bother you, like the houses like in New York or California or something, like townhouses, that's fine. But if you want them side by side, you'd have to snap those, nipper those off, and then you could glue those like that as well. You could. Hey Maritza, how are you? Hey Janet, hey Monica. So if you, again, if I miss anybody, I'm sorry. So that's what I did with that. Now, after I spray painted them, and again, if you're gonna do this and sell it, I would spray paint the inside too before you put the windows back in. It didn't dawn on me and then I put it all together afterwards. And I'm like, oh yeah, now if I go to sell this, I'm gonna, this has to be my display. Yes, you can make a village with them for any season. That's the other thing. If you wanted to do, um, say this one for instance. Okay, we'll put this back on. You could paint it black, right? You could leave the, if you wanted to paint this black, you could leave this purple, leave these green, and do a Halloween one as well. You could, there's a whole bunch. You could do Valentine's Day ones, St. Patrick's Day ones, Easter ones. Very versatile. And even if you wanted to do the um, Love Flutters creation, hello, welcome. Even if you wanted to do um, the Candyland theme, you could do these in, with the Candyland colors as well and do a Candyland theme. Do you have a gap between them? Um, yes. It does not. Do you see that? Yes, you would. But you could. Yes, you, you would. You would have a gap. But you can make a full house now as well. So the other thing I was going to show you is I started painting a red one because I'm going to do a red one. Yes, definitely. You, that's the other thing I was going to say. Thank you, AAA. Well, I'm going to show you now, Marie, because that's what I did with these. You could, I took the two, two of the same ones. These were this one with the pink house with the door offset. So I did the same thing. I took all the windows and everything out. Okay. Great minds think alike, right? And then what you would do is you would snap the edges off again, paint them, Put your roofs back on. I've got the roofs here as well, okay? You would put the roofs back on. Take the two same ones, two of the same ones, put the roofs back on, and then you can do them back in front to make a whole one. And that's the other one I'm gonna do. I won't get that done today, but I just wanted to show you that you could. So I wanted to show you both. Hey Kim, welcome. So you would have to cut the edges off again, and then you could glue them like this. You would still have a little bit of a gap, Marie, but then you could, get this on all the way you will still have a little bit of a gap this isn't snapping on right but then what you're going to have to do is you can just use your frosting on top I didn't want to go on right. this is where I call for the hubby not really but there it goes so then you would have a little bit of a gap. See the gap here after you would glue it? But then you could put your spackle or whatever. Okay, Pam, have a good church meeting. Thank you. Yep, exactly, Marie. So then I would put the spackle along the sides and you can put like candy canes or I'm gonna put on my house here like straws or something. And you can cover that up with the spackle going up or along the top and put either um, gumdrops, you can put gumdrops or anything on the top, and then you have a whole one. You So you can do it back to back like this, 
The only thing is you would have to use the same house so your roofs match up. So you'd have to use the same house. But yes, you can do a full one like this then. And then I painted my, these ones have windows that are um, green and purple, which would be great for Halloween as well, and the door. Um, so I took all those out again, and then I painted these, um, I painted all of them white. And then before you glue it together, don't do it after, before you glue it together, you would put the windows back in. And then all you do is you snap your windows right back in. And you just take it and push them in. And then we'll put one more in the front here. And then you just make sure it's all good and dry, let it sit and then your windows and doors snap right back in so you can do any color. And then I just did the doors white on this one. So that's how you would get the full one. And then like Triple A said, you can put a board down, a piece of foam board, or and then put that fake snow on it, or the fake grass. Hey, Yuli, how are you? Hey, Trina, hey, Tammy. Gumdrops, yep. Hey, Misty. And then um, you can make a village. So like you can have this one here, you can have another one in back, you can have a single one here, or you can, you know, just expand it and then have a little fence in front, have little trees and um, yeah, go from there. So the possibilities are endless, y'all. It's endless. So let me get these out of the way. And then I, the red that I used for this, um, I like, so I'll go over the colors one more time. I, I always use the Rust-Oleum two times, and um, it has the primer and the paint. The red is the apple red gloss. The gingerbread color that I like that I used was a satin nutmeg, and then it was just a plain white gloss. Uh, this one, the plain white gloss for the Rust-Oleum. And I just get that at Home Depot or um, Walmart. Walmart has them as well. They are, they're so fun to do. There's so much you can do with them. Let me get all this out of the way and then we will do our double decker. But they'd be really cute as Halloween as well. And I don't know, I, I, I just throw the furniture out that comes with it. I never really did anything with the furniture, but I mean, it's teeny tiny, but yeah. So then you have this and you, you can even um, paint this, the roof gingerbread color or black or whatever. Of course, Kathleen. I hope you learned something from it. We, we all pick up something from somebody and it's fun to see all the different things, you know? But it's neat. I saw it on Pinterest. I look at Pinterest all the time for ideas. I know a lot of people do too. And I'm like, oh, I gotta roll with this. Definitely have to roll with it. But I would definitely say cut the edges off and you can do so much. Hey, Donna. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's like Legos. I agree with you, Triple A. I agree with you, that's horrible. It hurts so bad. And then you can use um, the, the puffy paint. I like the Tulip puffy paint or the slick paints uh, for drips or whatnot. I got these on sale where they were 67 cents at Hobby Lobby. They're not that way anymore, let me tell you. I know, right? All the knowledge everyone has is amazing. There's so much out there. I didn't know, like from Andy today, I was floored. Floored about the... Um, the applesauce, the the no sugar applesauce that you can use in fake bakes and it won't rot. And there was a seasoning she used. I did not know. Yes, exactly. Andy, I was so amazed by you today with, with learning all that. I knew the salt dough stuff, but I did not know about the unsweetened applesauce that it would not rot. And then you used one ingredient. I don't know what it was. It starts with a C or a K. I can't remember what, what it was right now because I don't know what it is. But I'm like, I have to look that up. So I have to go back and look up your video on what it was. It was with the uh, bunt cake you did today. So, so I am going to, let's see what I'm going to do. I want to put Santa Claus on the top. And I think I'm going to do him last with the two, with the two reindeer. 
on the roof. I'm gonna put Santa on the top with the two reindeer. So I'm gonna leave him for last. Other than that, I know I want to, let me put you down a little bit. Yes, cardamom, what is that? Cardamom, cardamom, what is that? Thank you. Put you down a little more. So I know I want to, I have two different bags because I want to use the smaller tip and I have a 21 star. Hey, Anita, how are you? But what is it? What does it smell like? It's a spice, but what does it smell like? So I would suggest putting tacky glue on before so it sticks down. Is it a potent spice? Is it a fruity spice? So I wanna put these little hollies on all my windows and I wanna go down with them, the holly with the leaves. So I'm just gonna put a dab of the tacky glue on each one of them. <laughs> I have no idea either. And A little goes a long way. Now I'm scared. <laughs> now I'm scared. It's in Christmas bread. Is that like um, fruit cake? You just wanted the deeper color, so you put some in. Gotcha. So I'm just gonna go along the window with a few dollops back and forth, back and forth, back and forth on, on the top of the windows for snow. But I have learned so much today and I have to go back and watch the replays because yesterday was a shot day for me, needless to say, but I am gonna go back and watch them. And some things you're like, oh gosh, I never knew her. Why didn't I think about that, you know? And you can make this as fancy or as plain as you want. Some people like it more fancy. Some people like their gingerbread houses more plain. And that's just a um, 21 star tip here. Norwegian bread with glazed fruit. Hmm. You use it in Christmas cookies? I use... Almond, almond, I don't know how y'all say it. I use almond and I'm, I don't wanna get my fingers on all this, so I'm gonna use my tweezers. So I'm just gonna put the holly and berries on each one. Now these came, I'm gonna put my bag. These holly and berries came from, um, not this year, last year, but Hobby Lobby, they've got them in all the bags here. So you can you, um, get them from yeah, Hobby Lobby. German spice cookie. Warm, sweet, and spicy. Yeah, Janine, I have to try that next time. Oh, ginger too. Hmm. I like the idea of the pumpkin spice as well, like Andy was saying today. <clears throat> but I never heard of cardamom, cardamom before. And I wanted to remember it to ask if you were on. And of course I couldn't. I could not remember for the life of me. You could have given me a million dollars and I wouldn't have remembered. So we've got that. Now I wanna take my red and white straws. Hey Ellen, how are you? But really, we learned so much. It's amazing. The knowledge everyone has. And then I'm gonna cut my straw. Right? That's definitely a good idea, I agree. I so I wanna try that so bad now with the salto and all the um, spices. And you were talking about the oils the other day too, Annie. I wanna get those. So I want just the little candy cane type of thing on the side of the house. Thank you so much. I, I appreciate it. And you can go back and see all my videos. I have them posted under here. And I also have a YouTube channel 
where you can see my videos too. But if I can ever help you with anything, let me know. Thank you for joining and following. Where did you get pods of it from? AAA, where did you get pods of it from? So now I'm just gonna run my tacky glue and I forgot to put it back in the container I got from CC. That thing's amazing, I love it. It definitely helps. So I'm just gonna run a little bit of tacky glue on each side just so my spackle sticks. You had them in your, they were old. I bet you they were still good though, right? And I think of the traditional gingerbread house more elegant with the gingerbread color. This side. And I love the reds, the greens, and the whites on the gingerbread. But if you're doing the Candyland theme and you can't, I know I, I, a lot of people had a hard time finding Candyland stuff last year. Candyland theme for Christmas. So you could make your own as well, which would be great. Hey Ginger, how are you? So then we're putting the little, the red and white straws down in here on each side. Like so. And then I also want to do a candy cane on each side of the door standing out Let's put some tacky glue down and then your spackle <laughs> don't don't start now no straws no cherries right I'm allowed you you, you gotta do straws and cherries for a milkshake. I didn't have candy canes that long. Yes, my migraine is definitely better now. Thank you for asking. Tisha. So I'm gonna put the candy cane on the door as so, and then the other candy cane. Y'all, sometimes you just, you gotta use the straw. And you could do a lot of spackle and then just put the straw on there and see the spackle, but I wanted to see more of the straw with the red and white stripe. Oh, I'm okay with the cherry and the straw, not none for Janine. And then see the little candy canes coming out the door. And then I wanted to do a tree on each side, like so. So I'm gonna put a tree in each corner. Autocorrect. <laughs> I know it's, that autocorrect has a mind of its own, y'all. It really does. Now these I got from Hobby Lobby too. In the in these packages, let me show you. They're actually buttons. Okay, there's a whole bunch of them, and they're actually buttons. Like these stockings. See how the button backs are, and they're all in the Christmas section at Hobby Lobby. And the trees were in there with the reindeer that I'm going to put on the top. So what I do is I just take my nippers, like I did, you know, to have stuff flying to begin with on the edges, and I nip that button thing off. The only problem, bye button, back. The only thing is um, sometimes it'll pop out. So what I will do where you cut the button, sometimes it'll pop out. So what I do is I just take a dab of hot glue and just put it over it real quick. And then, you know, it just dries quick and that's it. Let me do the second one right away as well.
and if you're putting spackle all the way up, you, you really don't have to do the um, hot glue on the back of the button either, but I'm not gonna do it all the way up, so. But you could. The, the spackle would hold it and then you wouldn't have to do the hot glue. So I'm just gonna do the trees on the bottom here. And then before your spackle, your tacky glue. And I was thinking about it, what would be really cute too, y'all, is if you took the, um, see these little, they almost look like bulbs on the bottom of the houses here. You could go over it with a marker, acrylic marker, and do them like bulbs. Do red, green, blue, yellow, orange. And you could actually make them like they had bulbs hanging from either the top part or the top and the bottom or whichever. Let's see how much I'm on doing here. Oh, what the heck, a little bit. And then we've got the other side. How are ya? And then we will put our trees on a little diagonal here. And then don't forget if you use the trees, you have to be even with the bottom. So you've got your little base there. So it stands up like so. And then I had too much spackle spooge out, so we're just going to fix that. So we have our trees on the side. And then because we've got Santa Claus up top, I want to do Mrs. Claus. So we're going to make some more danger fly. And I'm going to put her by the bottom door right here because she's going to be on the bottom as Santa Claus is up top. Thank you, Andy. Glad you're doing good, Nikki. Spooge. <laughs> Spooge. Oh, that's a new word. Mm-hmm. Spooging out. Spooging out. And if you didn't want to use a spackle, you could use um, the uh, hot glue by itself on this plastic does not work well. And I found that um, super glue does not work well. Uh, by itself. So what I use to put these two together, top to bottom, and what I'm going to use to put the other ones back to front is the Aileen's Mixed Media Adhesive Rapid Dry, and I got that at Michael's. It doesn't dry instantly, so it's got to sit there for a good half hour, but then it dries really well. And I really wanted the stuff to stick down right now while I'm working with y'all. So I'm just putting a little spackle behind her. So I wanted little Mrs. Claus to sit here. And of course there's too much. So how's everybody's weekend, good? you picking on me about my words, spooging out. And then the tacky glue under it will dry clear. And then the spackle and the tacky, dry, the tacky glue will hold it until it dries. Hey, Albert, how are you? A new, a new white. So we've got Mrs. Claus, the two candy canes, the two trees. 
We've got our holly with the berries. We've got our straws. On the side windows, I want to do the candy canes with the bows. Hey, Tim, how are you? Your weekend's good? Good, Tisha. I'm glad to hear. So now these, I want to put in each of the side windows like so. Cut off the button backs. And then reinforce it with, the... I do, look at here. I'm gonna put a wreath in this top door there. I do. You could put wreaths in the side windows. I opted to go with the candy canes only because I'm gonna put the wreath on the front. But yes, I see people with wreaths in all their windows. So yes, that would be a great option. Well, I just painted this and I don't wanna scuff it up, Kathleen. <laughs> But yes, you're right, to scuff it up or use E6000. I've never used B7000. And I try, I did try the Loctite on the plain plastic, but I did not um, scuff it up and it did not stick. So that's good to know. I got my strings. The struggle's real, guys. It's a struggle bus today. <laughs> you have to wait till at least August, right, Ginger? And how many trees do you have now? How many did you have last year? Now it's sticking to my hand, my elbow. What the heck? So we're going to hold this here. Good Lord, look at this. You have 14 trees, Ginger? Holy cow. See, if, if you try to put the spackle down and there's no tacky glue, ain't gonna stick, y'all. So you'll know right away, what's the problem? I gotta put the tacky glue down. puts a full-size tree in her bathroom. My bathroom's not small. My bathroom's not big enough. It's way too small. Holy cow. That's got to be amazing. A full-size tree in her bathroom. That has to be amazing. So then we'll put the candy canes here. And then we'll put another one here. So we have our candy cane in the side windows. And I like the way that is with the, the straw there. And then we'll do the other side. Do you really? I want to see that. I'm going to have to go check that out, Ginger. And then we have our other side window because we don't want to forget our sides. So this is what we have so far. And then I am going to put the wreath on the door right here, the wreath here. And 
the back, if you can cover the back of it in foam sheets, Carly. Hi, Stacy. how are you? I haven't seen you in forever. You gave your Dollar Tree house away? You're being silly. They still sell them. They still have them out there. So now we've got our wreath on the door up top. And then I want to take I think I'm going to take these, y'all, and put red, green, red, green, red, green around here. Oh, Anita. See, you never thought you'd need them. That's why I don't like getting rid of anything. My husband says, uh, what are you going to do with this? Don't, don't touch it. I need it. We'll just take it to the storage unit. Don't, don't touch my stuff. Because as soon as you get rid of them, you need them. <laughs> you can just about cover anything with foam. You're right, AAA. Really? Your Dollar Trees are horrible here? You can buy them by the case. That's what I did last year. And then we will take and do a red one in the center. And then I have light green and dark green. I can understand. I did that whole de-stashing, decluttering thing with um, Erica. And I got rid of some stuff, too, that I'm like, eh, but you know what? I didn't use it in so long. But, hey, that's okay. It made room. I'm not using it. I'm not using it. I'm gonna. Yeah, I, I like talking to myself, y'all. Got this. My husband says, do you answer yourself, too? I said, just when I want, you know, an expert opinion. He didn't like that answer. Bye, Ginger. Have a good one. Thank you for joining me. Let me know when you start putting up your Christmas stuff. And then the green. And then we have that there. <coughs> have a good one, Ginger. Bye-bye. Thanks. Tell David we said hi. Then I think, do I want to do snowflakes up here? I don't like those. Let's see the pearlized snowflakes that I have. <laughs> right? Exactly, Kathleen. Who has it? Y'all, you've always got it, but then they complain about it. For sure. They definitely know to who to come to when they need something. Oh, you have that? Well, yeah, no, I probably do. And then I think I want to put one of these on here. But which one? Do I want one on here or not? No, I don't want one on there. I don't like the way it looks. I don't like the way it looks, y'all. So we're going to leave that off. Now I'm just trying to figure out the... The top here. Hey, Laura, welcome. Uh, 
It'd be really cute. You know what you could do too? Those little battery operated tea lights. You could put one on each level and then your windows would light up at night. Wouldn't that be really cool? Because you got the shelf on the back. So you could put a tea light here and a tea light here on each level. And then even in the top, if you wanted, the ones with the batteries and then don't, don't put one with a candle in there. But the one with the batteries, I'm going like a hoarder. <laughs> That's why I'm glad you can only see this. <laughs> I, I start organizing and decluttering and it makes it worse. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Thanks, Marie. So yeah, but wouldn't that be really cute if you got the battery tea lights and then put one on each level and then at night it would make the windows glow as well. Isn't that cute? And then you could do drip. What y'all think? Do you like the um, gingerbreads on the windows up here? Yes or no? Do you, what do you think about the ginger? The gingerbread guys up here? Or should I just leave them off? I don't think so. I don't like it. You say that one all the time. <laughs> but again, if you're going to sell it, make sure you paint the back. Why not the gingerbread men? Mm, I don't think it goes. Maybe we'll do the snowflakes. Poinsettias? I got poinsettias. I don't really want to put candy, candy other than the little mints here, but you could do a whole candy one as well. The expert opinion one just said. <laughs> a candy cane? You think we should put a candy cane up there? That would work. That would definitely work. One here. You know what would work too? A big, a peppermint, I think maybe. What do you think about a peppermint? Candy canes. Oh, I got these swirly things. What do you think about these swirly things? Do the windows have plastic to look like glass? You could paint a thin coat. <clears throat> it doesn't. They're all, it's all, you could probably put um, some sort of plastic on the back of it though to make it look that way. Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus came um, with, they came from Hobby Lobby in their Christmas craft section. Mr. and Mrs. Santa Claus. And I was even thinking about ornaments or stockings. I was trying to see if I had another one for you to see, but I, I, I don't think I have it in this container. But yeah, they came from Hobby Lobby. And you can get it with the 40% off when it comes out. There's little packages, gifts. Which would be cute on the bottom. They are little buttons, like I said, so just um, cut the backs off of them. But watch your eye. Don't knock your eye out. Don't cut your eye out. What do you think about these? No, I don't like them. Never mind. We're going to do the roof, y'all. We're going to do Santa on the roof. Now, for Santa on the roof, I'm going to use a bigger tip. This is a 1M. I want a little bit more snow up on the roof. And you could do glitter. You could do some Mod Podge and some glitter. Spackle snow would be good. Yeah, that would be good too. 
you started collecting gla gallery glass paint. Isn't it the best, AAA? I love it. The gifts, I was thinking the gifts are the stockings, yeah. Let's see how the gifts look. here on the struggle bus y'all and I got scissors sitting right in front of me so here's the here's the gift I'm almost thinking I'd like to get a smaller wreath and put a smaller wreath up there well, let's do let's put our tacky glue up top I want more of the um, spackle for cover. Um, Santa Claus and his reindeer up there. You like, Andy, you like the gifts up there? So we're going to do the same thing. Now, Mr. Santa is 3D. He came from Hobby Lobby as well. And so did these reindeer in a different package. And they even have one with a sleigh, but Santa's not on the sleigh, and I wanted Santa on the roof, so you have that option as well. And this is the Santa that came with Mrs. Claus on the bottom. You could stand him up there if you wanted. But I wanted Santa to be a little 3D, so I, uh, I went with the roly-poly guy. And then this is where you wanna make sure you do seal where you cut the buttons so that his red doesn't come off. Seven minutes, we can finish the top, guys. So who's gonna try this? Do you like the idea of putting two stories or a one back to back to make a full one? And a village would be amazing on a platform with fake snow and yeah, that would be amazing, y'all. And if you make them, send them on out. I'd like to see them. Thanks, Stacy. I need a chimney. <gasps> I didn't think about a chimney. I need a chimney. I gotta work on a chimney, y'all. Now I gotta make a chimney. You're right, AAA, I need a chimney. Thank you, Ginger. You don't have a Hobby Lobby by you, Kathleen? Cuba is closer. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, y'all. And then we have our roly poly Sienna and our two reindeer, which y'all think? So there we go. We don't have squad except Ben Franklin. What <laughs> expensive. Ooh, I never heard of Ben Franklin. Thank you, Anita. Thank you, Cindy. So here we go. Don't fall over, Mr. Roly Poly. So here we go. So thank you for joining me. And there is my gingerbread house. I'm gonna do a little bit of snow, or no, I'm gonna do a little bit of puffy paint and put some drip on this these top things here. Maybe that, maybe I'll like that. And I wanted to do this before I put Santa on.
That looks better. A little bit of snow on there. I'll show y'all in a minute. And you could put fake snow on here. You could put Mod Podge and glitter or some diamond dust on here to make it look like there is snow on the roof as well. That actually doesn't look too bad with a little bit of snow. We've got the little bit of snow on the, the little windows on top. And then again, I think I'm gonna go get the, um, I think I'm gonna get the um, tea light candles that go on battery and then you can put them in here and then the windows would light up. But if you put a piece of plastic in there, the gallery glass would look really cute as well. That was a great idea. And then we've got the side with the candy canes and then see how the candy canes stick out from the door. And then we have the other side. And you could do two of these together. You could double stack them, get four of them, and then put them together back to back and then put the spackle on the top and then through the sides and have a full double decker house as well. And then that'd be cute if you did a um, Halloween one as well. Love the reindeer in the head. Thank you, Erica. Thanks, Linda. Bye, Tisha. Thanks for joining me. Thank you. Thanks, Morticia. <laughs> Jamie, you bought your house from your houses from me. Yes, I was selling the houses. You did. Is that what you're talking about? The houses? I bought a case of them. So if anybody does need them, I have them. And I only sell them for a dollar twenty-five. What I bought them for. So if you do want them, I will. I'll, I'll sell them on Wednesday when I have my um, live sale. So if you need them, not a problem. Thank you, Stacy. It's good seeing you again. It's good seeing everybody again. So up after me is Marie with Great Creation Faux Cupcakes, finishing everything off. Okay, just let me know if you want the ones with the purple roof or the ones with the pink roof. They're different. Let me show you. So I did this double decker with the purple roof. I did this double decker here with the purple roof, and then this is the one with the um, the pink roof, which is the one I'm gonna put together that I painted red. Thank you, Maritza. Thank you, Kathleen, I appreciate it. <laughs> oh, I didn't see that. That's not true, Triple A. <laughs> That's not true. I did not see that comment. But yeah, anybody that needs them, I do have a case and just let me know. But thank you for joining me. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the new people. I appreciate you coming to see me. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. And Everybody refresh, go back to Marie with Great Creation Faux Cupcakes. And thank you again to everybody. And thank you, Marie, for having me. Have a great evening. Bye, y'all.